Since reacting to the guilty verdict, our Alexis Wainwright spoke with one of the members of a task force created by the governor in the wake of George Floyd's death. Yeah, she joins us live in studio with reaction to the verdict and an update on the recommendations being made to the governor to enhance trust between law enforcement and communities. Alexis. Well, Donna and Kevin, there have been a lot of emotions around this verdict, but the man I spoke to tonight says just the start of the changes are now going around the country and even here at home. It was just something significant um, because he was found guilty and then found guilty on all three charges. A sense of hope for many. Degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. Following the guilty verdict for former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. It was kind of a precedent setting that um, even though a lot of times officers may hide behind the um, immunity blanket, this has now shown that you can be charged for your failure to act or your failure to act recklessly. Jimmy Warren was a part of a task force formed by Governor Asa Hutchinson in the wake of protests following the death of George Floyd. The goal, to address policing issues here in Arkansas. There were a lot of hard conversations that we had in those meetings. Um, there were a lot of emotions. Um, but most so, there are a lot of friendships and camaraderie that was built. Warren says while the guilty verdict is a step in the right direction, this is just the beginning. I think that people are also realizing that as much as we were happy last night that we have to get back to work today. He says there is more to be done, referencing recent killings of black men and women by police. There's still work to be done when it comes to um, police reform, um, when it comes to just sitting down having engagement and conversations between citizens and police officers. But as far as Arkansas, we're in a good position to learn and a good position that we can pivot. I think that over the last year um, after the death of George Floyd, we've been in a unique situation because we had a Republican governor who actually sat down with protesters. And the task force to advance the state of law enforcement submitted 27 recommendations to the governor, including accountability, training, and raise in pay. Warren says as of yesterday, 18 of those recommendations have gone through the legislative branch or been enacted in police training. Alexis Wainwright, back to you.